In April of 2011, I received a call from the Teaching from Space office letting me know that my proposal that I had sent had been picked. NASA was calling us and we were going up in July. Before we go any further, let me introduce the team. Our week was spent in various trainings and in this hangar prepping our gear for flight day. Here we are day before Chris and Darren go up. I'm trying to get all of the of our seals set. This stuff takes four hours to dry. We're really nervous about going up. Yeah. Man, we're going up in the morning, man. I just got, I just realized that they're gonna be they're the going plane. up tomorrow. Four hours from now. You're gonna be Lines and I are going, going up, up Friday. Now it's time to load up the box on the plane. We were hoping to go up with nine trials on each flight. So how do you get zero gravity in a plane? The plane will fly a parabola creating zero G's at the top of the parabola, like this. This is what it looks like out the window. So now it's time to get to work. We had our ground results of the reaction. Now what happens to it in zero gravity? Trial three is opened. We're going at four. We're at six. We are at seven PSI. We're at we're at eight PSI. This is trial three. Integrity of the first three nine PSI. We're probably going to peak at ten. Don't you mean PSI, coach? Sometimes when your feet are floating above you and touching the ceiling, turns can get turned around. I think we're going to see a little bit of a delay overall. I got to look at the camera footage, but anti my shoes. Well, we've executed nine trials for each flight. Now it was time to tie our shoes and have some fun. Check out a slinky in 2G's of pressure. And 
then we move into zero degrees. What a great ride, it was a good time. And as a bonus, if you've ever wondered how to do CPR and zero Gs, this is what it looks like.